You may not recognize my next guest by name, but some of the characters he has created are film legends. He was Mr. Eddie in a film called So Fine, and he'll go down in movie history as Jaws in several 007 films. Please welcome Richard Keel. Yeah. This isn't one of Bill's cheers, is he? Uh, no, <laughs> probably not the $121,000 kind. Is that going to be all right? Are you all right in there? Yeah, I'm you fine, yeah. Okay. I understand you've been fooling around with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, what a rich sense of humor. <laughs> that's April Fool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I'm, uh, I'm one of your biggest fans. Well, that's, uh, that's very nice of you. <laughs> No, no, I, was, I wasn't going to mention this, but you've, you've referred to your uh, size directly or indirectly here a couple of times. And yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, no, okay, size, how, how tall a person are you? I'm 7'2". 7'2", and, and, and what, what do you weigh? That, that's with my elevator shoes, which I don't have on. Yeah. And what is your weight? Well, I don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I weigh about 330. Now, um... Yeah. Uh, no, really. Yeah. What, now, what kind of... This must be problems for you like airplanes hotels that sort of thing do you do you run into uh, like a bed do you have to get a special bed in a hotel yeah well you know there's a lot of uh, king size beds and basketball players so mm -hmm. it's not too big of a deal if, you know if there's a problem i just sleep in shifts mm -hmm. <laughs> but air, airplanes uh, i tell you i i had a real problem flying out here uh, they have this new plane uh, i won't mention the name but it it was this uh, AA Airlines, and, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't understand because everybody was drinking like mad. You know, yeah, but it uh -huh. was, uh, but the uh, the bathrooms, you know, the the walls kind of tilt forward. You know, you're what six feet tall. And, you know, it must be a problem for you. You know, yeah, but for me, uh, I can't even get in. You know, I open yeah. the door and there's a wall. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so so what do you, you would do? Have somebody hold the door open and you stand on the other side of the hallway? Oh. On the other side of the aisle. No, horrible motion that is. Uh, Gosh, that's about it. Yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Do do people uh, after a while does it get on your nerves when people talk to you about it or or make remarks to you when they see it because you're a very recognizable person even if you weren't seven two. Uh, I well, mean, how's that? Uh, well, because of the the parts that you've played in films. Oh, I know. You know, it's, you're, you're very, talking about very distinct, like, uh, no, distinct characters. Yeah, in fact, one time uh, there was this guy. And he stood, you know, looking at me, uh, staring for about an hour. And that really bugs me, when, you know, when people stare. And finally, I said to him, I said, uh, hey, what's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a guy with a space between his teeth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh... <laughs> Uh, let's... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'll clear this auditorium. Uh, let's talk about some of the the, uh, the parts that you've had in film. You were uh, the the guy with the, the steel. Actually, they were tools for teeth, right? Wasn't that the the character in the character of Jaws? They wanted a guy who actually could bite cable with his teeth and stuff like that. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, that was my audition for the film, yeah. which is kind of you know discouraging for an actor. They you know they say, can you bite a steel cable in half? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, the, these things that they built for you to wear, was that difficult to act with those in there? Were they, were they painful? Were they uncomfortable? Yeah, they were pretty miserable. Uh, yeah. It was like having a train in your mouth. It was... Uh... Well, in fact, I think, I think we have a, a <clears throat> picture of them right here, as a matter of fact. Yeah, these things were kind of like uh, uppers and lower dentures made out of cobalt steel that went in the roof of your mouth, and you know, they were a little rusty, and... Uh... <laughs> And that, that painful expression I have on my face is because I'm, they're making me nauseated. Yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, and then what is this one? This is, I guess, from a new film with you... Uh... Yeah, I just did a Western uh, yeah. with Clint Eastwood called Pale Rider. And I got to ride a horse. Uh... I've always wanted to ride a horse, you know. And as you can see, I'm, I play a leading man. <laughs> Now, how did, how would, uh, do you ride horses a lot? Do you ever ride horses? 
No, in fact, I, you know, I hadn't ridden uh, for years and years. Uh, uh, the first time I rode in the film uh, was a, a film called Rifleman, yeah. a TV show. They had this That's great big counter. horse. Yeah, a long now, do, does the horse? Does that bother the horse to have well, someone of your? In this particular film, they had just a regular horse, and uh, you know, the 330 pounds. Uh, you know, I'm not real, not real big in the seat. You know, so it was like all in one spot. And then my legs kind of dangled down in you know, all the wrong places you know, for the horse. And, uh, this is like a horse with yeah, six legs. And, and so, you know, he, <laughs> and then, he, then, he, then he saw that gap between my teeth. Oh, uh, stop it. Now, uh, well, anyway, let's... the horse got really, uh, after about an hour of sitting out, you know, the movies you yeah. shoot over and over and over again, you know, I, I guess he got kind of a, a pain in his back because he started, uh, Complaining, you know, like, Ooh, <laughs> you know. and uh, so in the, in the show, I get off the horse and I have a confrontation with Clint, uh -huh. and uh, and I go back to get on the horse, and when I went back to get on the horse, the horse started backing away. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. I'm done. Uh, we got to do a commercial, Richard. We'll be right back. <laughs> Uh, what, did, what did you do before you became an actor? Well, I wasn't doing too well. Actually, I was an uh, Elvis impersonator. <laughs> 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 you know, I, I did all kinds of things. I, uh, I sold vacuum cleaners. Uh, uh -huh. and Door-to-door uh, -door kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah, door-to-door. Yeah, -door. But I folks were happy to see you on the porch. <laughs> I used to knock on the roof, yeah. <laughs> knock on the roof, yeah. yes. <laughs> and, uh, before that, I was a bouncer in uh, some of the uh, famous country and western gin mills in, uh, in the Hollywood. Where was this? Uh, well, one was called the Rag Doll. Where about? And, what uh, part of the country? Uh, North Hollywood. Oh, I see, yeah. And uh, actually, that's where I learned how to be an actor. Yeah. You know, to get these crazy guys, you know, they get too much to drink, and uh, they get bigger and bigger. You know, about 1 o'clock in the morning, they'd say, Hey, guy, this is so big, you know. And so they come up to me, and I, I f figured rather than argue with them, I just kind of be real friendly, and I go. <laughs> you know, and then uh, sober up, sober up. Yeah, 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 yeah. They they got real sober. And, uh, <laughs> uh, the the movie with Clint Eastwood is called Pale Riders. Yeah, it's Pale Rider. Yeah. And be out in June. Yeah, yeah, I think what school's at. Did you enjoy that? Turned out to be a nice film, you think? Oh, yeah, I think it's it's going to be uh, exciting. It's uh, kind of like uh, uh, Shane and High Noon with Dirty Harry. You know, oh, a, good. Yeah. It's a good combination, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, nice meeting you, Richard. Thank you very much for being yeah, it's here tonight. It's a real pleasure. We, uh, one more commercial, and then we'll be right back. Bill Cosby and Richard Keel. Tomorrow on this program, Kim Alexis, Lev Schneider, the Russian psychic, and uh, from Saturday Night Live, Jim Belushi. Have a nice uh, night, folks. Thanks for being here. Good night.